Hello everyone, Pally Tum here. Welcome back to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. We are a level four spell shooter and we are going into the Queen's Gate for the first time today. This should be a pretty substantial episode. I know last episode was a little light. We were just showing off the tabletop mechanics, but there are a lot of events underway. Newbie, don't worry. Those jerks at the table can't hear me. Oh, good. Just us down here. Hey, I know I'm the villain, but I still just wanted to wish you luck on the whole quest thing. Not oh, thank you. Luck, right? <laughs> I mean, you're the fate maker. That was nice of him to reach out. These are our vending machines. Uh, if you go up to them, there is an item of the day. This cycles out. There's a timer you could see it. 14 minutes left on this one. I don't know if uh, I'm going to be buying anything here, but this is like the grenade vending machine. Uh, that doesn't look half bad. Oh, that's a Hydra, so I probably won't like it. We are probably going to look through the stock of these things relatively often because staying on top of my spells or my grenades is going to be a key part of my character, especially after level 7. But for now, my inventory is starting to get a little full, and uh, let's clear it out. Accidentally sold all of my weapons and gear, but bought them back. Hey, that's a nice feature. Reach Brighthoof is our quest, and look at this massive castle. The mighty walls of Brighthoof, but you're not the only new arrival. A massive skeleton army is sieging the city. Whoa! Catapults, skelly men, skelly ships, skelly ships. <laughs> That's actually so cool. Now I can't go over here and mess with these guys at all. But, you know, they're sieging. They're doing their own thing. This area has a ton of collectibles. We just get a small taste of that by seeing one of the 20-sided die in front of us slightly out of reach. But even on the dock, there are more if you know where to look. There's also more skeletons lying ahead of us. It seems like my spells are still bugged. I'm just going to stop talking about that, though. That's for making me look at you. I mean, it may not be bugged. I could be completely wrong. I mean, you guys probably already let me know that down in the comments, to be honest. Can we get anything out of this 20-sided die? What do we roll? An 18. Woo! Give me that good stuff. We have another pistol in here. Hold on. I'm currently on fire. Who said you guys could fight me while I'm looting? Uh, these are cosmetic items that we could find in the world. This is a hero statue material obsidian. I don't really know what that means. I guess we might have a statue constructed of our character later on. And this is also a pushpin of striking. Another epic quality pistol. Slightly more item level than what we have right now, but the per shot damage is way higher. So I am interested in seeing how good this can be. More skeletons holding down the beach. Let us invade. Polymorph is out and we do have the grenade meter. Hey, it's working again. I'm really bad about not talking about that. The fire rate on this gun is much slower, but as long as we get those headshots in, these enemies are actually taken down pretty quickly. You thought you could just sub it in behind me and get away with it? Not today, sir. Not today. Let's keep moving up the beach towards the castle. These skeletons trying to hold the beach in front of us. Hey, that ice explosion should get us a pretty long way with this guy. I have to be really accurate with this weapon, and that was an explosive skeleton pushing up towards us, ready to explode. Let's call down a meteor in the back. The beach behind me is cleared. We can keep moving forward. Hey, where are you coming from? Are they being launched? They're being launched from the ship Sea of Thieves style. Polymorph in the back. If I can hit him, he'll call down a meteor and that might hit his friends. <laughs> I'm starting to feel kind of powerful when everything lines up. You know what I mean? 
Let's see if we can take off the head of this archer. Indeed we do. He's going to have a harder time seeing us without that. Same thing for this mage, although I think the mage just kind of AoEs some spells. I don't, I don't think the mage really cares about where they fall. Shields are depleted, and we have a badass knight moving in on us. We call down our meteor spell, and let's see if we can polymorph him as well. Now he's much more docile. Much easier to deal with. I really like being able to crowd control difficult enemies like that. And another cosmetic item as we breach the defenses of this area. A sigil slows enemies. No, I don't want that at all. You see a lone figure fighting back against the endless tide of Who could it be? Though his armor is scarred by a hundred battles, his honor is untarnished. It's Paladin Mike! Hey, Paladin Mike! <laughs> I like the angel wings on Paladin Mike. Good job fighting those guys. There were a few of them. Oi! You, citizen! Over here! I saw you fighting the undead on the beach. Glad I'm not the only one giving these bony pricks a hard time. Oh, I didn't know paladins got to swear so much. Might have signed <laughs> Do I bloody look like I've got time for manners lessons? I'm up to my card piece and I'm dead! They came out of nowhere! Aye, the Dragon Lord has returned. I've seen for myself. I've fought him. The Dragon Lord! Bollocks, we'll have to deal with him later. Right now, we have to break this siege. The undead have catapults lobbing skeletons over the walls. I need you to destroy them. Here, take this C4. C4. Tina, I know you like explosives, but can you make <laughs> it more fantasy thing than C4? Right, 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 right. Good catch, yeah. Oh, you took it back. Yeah, right, uh... Here, take this, uh, Fantasy 4. Fantasy 4. Well, that's a lot more appropriate. <laughs> I'll help the villagers get to safety. Fight through the siege fields and use that Fantasy 4 to blow the catapults to kingdom. You got it. Ooh, thanks for opening that door, too. I don't know if you did that, but it sure was convenient. Big portal opening in the back, and it looks like a lot of skeletons being brought through it. Some even being launched up towards us. We get a meteor off in the back, but oh, this guy's a little too tanky. Let's swap over to our SMG. We don't have to be accurate with this thing at all. I feel like the big bad evil guy has a direct line into my consciousness. He just keeps talking to me whenever he wants to. Good freeze on that skeleton. We finally go down. We are in a fight or flight situation. I don't think I could do enough damage to that skeleton. This actually... My first death! Now, if we did secure a kill during that kind of down state, we would have gotten back up and kept running. Because we died, we're gonna lose a little bit of money. That was only $100, $131, not that big of a deal at all. And we're gonna be teleported back to the nearest checkpoint, the these Hyperion Grim Reaper things that we pointed out in episode one. Well, it's time for a little bit of revenge. And in fact, if I can see, there he is, that skeleton that fought me before. We'll just call a meteor down in. Unfortunately, it missed. We can polymorph, hopefully into another meteor. Indeed, we can. And another meteor. <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together, my dudes. I love it. Well, one of the catapults we're after is at the top of the hill, but it is being guarded by a pretty large enemy, a rock troll, and he is chucking rocks at us already. Oh, and they hit pretty hard. He is kind of chilled already. Let's see if we can keep the damage up here as best we can. We're going to have to line of sight this next rock. It's dealing some serious damage, but hey, we're not doing that bad. Is he polymorphable? He sure is. And now we'll get some free meteors called in on him. The Fantasy 4 is able to be placed on this, but perhaps not while we are still fighting some skeletons. Another meteor for our close friend, a headshot for the one in the back. <laughs> you were supposed to die. Slap that Fantasy 4 
onto the catapult. You got it. Already in position for it, too. Set it off. Oh, you'll want to stand bloody clear. All right, we'll stand back and use our more accurate gun for this. The catapult explodes into glitter and rainbow bits. Nice. Brilliant. <laughs> Keep blasting them back to the gray hell, citizen. Okay, so Paladin Mike isn't mine, but I met this cool nerdy barista on the Echo Net, and they said I could use their BNB character if I wanted, and I was like, hell yeah! And they were like, sure, and I was like, ooh, I'm stealing that accent too! <laughs> Inspiration's everywhere if you know where to look for it, isn't that right, Tina? Big meteor sending that guy flying. Oh, we gotta swap back. Wow, there's actually a lot of enemies here. Explosive barrel, we'll get some AoE out while we take refuge behind this small shack. Actually, this does seem like a good spot for me to hold down. Polymorph's ready if anyone gets too close, but these guys actually aren't advancing on us too fast. Let's start to send some spells into the middle of this. Polymorph on that mage. That's huge. Can we do it again? We sure can. Right on top of his other mage companion. And with that, we hit level five. With my level up, we will... I like the idea of reloading faster. If I'm reloading, I'm shooting. And if we are getting bonus damage added to our gun, then being able to just fire out more shots with our gun seems good. Seems really good. I am starting to consider a little bit of dexterity in here at some point, but for now, I still want as much cooldown reduction as we can possibly get on our spells, i.e. our grenades. Another rock troll is holding the top of this pathway. We're going to call a meteor in on him, polymorph him, and keep this guy crowd controlled while we take him down and die to an explosive barrel that was to our left. But wait, there's time. There's time. We're back. A death save. Hey, they call them death saves. That's cool. They used to be called second wins. <laughs> All right, same thing here, right? Let's get this in place. We're going to back up a little bit and give it a shot. Blast! They've set the last catapult up on the fallen tower. Uh, figure out a way to get over there. Okay. That's way too big of a jump. What if we That's a really big jump. That last catapult and threw ourselves over. Hey, 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 hey! No touching the miniatures! <laughs> uh, launching yourself with a catapult sounds cool, so I'm going to let it go this once. Hey. D&D has the rule of cool, and it looks like we just got a little taste of it with that catapult coming back. Catapults take hundreds of goblin hours to construct. I'm out here creating jobs, you know. Oh, yeah, and we're just destroying them. Every bad guy thinks he's a good guy. Remember that. Remember that. Well, more skeletons moving up. That ice barrel did help us take down a few. I'm going to call in a meteor right next to a fire barrel up there. So that guy is definitely deceased. We're down, but not for long. A headshot gets us right back into combat. Polymorph on the mage. We want to remove that spell casting if we can. And several meteors falling down in his wake as well. That is beautiful. Speaking of meteors, that cooldown reduction seems like it's starting to really pay off. We we were able to send out another one almost immediately. More people being sent over on the Catapult Express, but unfortunately for him, he landed right in front of my weapon. It actually looked like after he was frozen, I shot his legs off. Now that's more like it! Well, it looks like our destination is right this way, heading towards another catapult at the end. I'm not seeing a rock troll protecting this one. Meteor called down, polymorph on the side. Should have probably hit the mage next to me, but I don't feel too bad sending that over there. The mage actually taking a hit from that meteor we called in, so we did hit him. All is good. Line of sight here on the left. No enemies can see me for the time being. We have a great shot at that mage that was raining down destruction, too. Another one in the back. We call down a meteor next to him, hitting an ice barrel as well. We have one HP. We really, really, really need our shields to come back. Oh, the mage actually advancing on us. Let's poly him. Yeah, sorry, bud. You're not going to be walking down that way. <laughs> and I just see someone get completely thrown. Oh, it was a fuse lighter. He was going to blow up on me. Uh, skeleton badass advancing quickly. Oh, the sword hits hard. But the meteor actually did not hit harder. Uh, kind of ruined my... 
kind of ruined my commentary there, my dude. <laughs> kind of took some... Kind of took some momentum away from me there. Okay. One more skeleton on the far side. Might be the last one meteor going in. He got hit hard. And we make our way to the catapult. Looks like magic's back on the menu. Big chest actually up here as well. With a fire rate while the ward is depleted is increased by 10%. The Aegis of the Expeditious. Uh, the capacity on this isn't good, but maybe you want that because as the shield goes down, your damage would go up. As of right now, our shield has a six and a half second recharge delay. This one only a 2.5. The capacity is lower, there's no doubt there, but that might be better for us. Now this could be good. A poison pistol replacing the one that we were holding already. Let's shoot it. The projectiles fall down a lot. Also has some pretty decent ricochet there. It's secondary fire. Is poison rockets. Holy crap. What about this purple one, though? Is this one better? Oh, runs out of ammo very quickly. Has a shock, has a taser, as well as poisonous projectiles. Got to reload really quick with this, but luckily, as we level up, we're going to get more reload speed. So maybe that won't matter. Anyway, back on the task at hand. Let's get this destroyed. That'll bloody learn him. Ha! Oh, regroup by the main gate. I can see him gathering for an assault. The main oh, gate. For you. See, while you're having your little heroic tantrum out there, my forces are already in the city getting ready to burn the place to the ground. Oh, this is great. We're all having fun. Oh, another 20 sided dice over here. I think the game definitely feels like it's made for a controller. Uh, for here, for instance, the map doesn't scroll. I have to scroll the middle crosshair in order to inspect something. I can't just mouse over something to see what it does. For instance, this symbol, if I don't put the middle of the map over it, then we can't fast travel to it, which is super strange. However, we can use the arrow keys to kind of navigate the map to find these fast travels a little bit faster. Also just realized that this place was called Butt because <laughs> of course it is our destination is Here's a nice bridge. on the other side oh infrastructure edit finally came through nice hey Mike hey you showed those boneheads what for one of the queen's waystones yeah activates for me why I've never actually seen one of these before. Are you a fate maker? I sure am. Yep. All right. Well, I'm bloody impressed. I only heard about those in stories. I do love my stuff. So if I use this thing? Has unlocked more of your power as a fate maker. Nice. The Dragon Lord's armies don't stand a chance. Uh, you've unlocked your class feat. This powerful, always-on passive ability that comes with your class. No need to spend any points to purchase it. Each class skill tree can potentially be built around a feat. Each class only has one feat. For more info, open up the skill menu and see what your oh, stuff does. Man, you're doing so well. Too bad I don't have anything up my sleeve for this. Blammo! <laughs> through the gate! We polymorph the troll. And take it down almost instantly. Sorry, big bag evil guy. You're going to have to do a little bit better than that. More skeletons coming through the pass here as well. They are just lining up to be melted. Now, yeah, before, before we get over here, before we do that, can I equip two grenades now? Is that what we just got? Uh, at level seven, maybe. Damn. I am noticing my buff at the bottom of the screen. I should be getting gun damage increases every time I cast a spell. 
And the polymorph target does seem to help out with that quite a lot as well. As we polymorph this rock troll, maybe it caps out at five. But we are getting credit for spell casts because you see the buff refresh every time it calls a meteor down on our target. I'm really happy that's working. I don't know why it wasn't working consistently earlier, but that's actually really, really fun to play around. I think I picked a good class for our playthrough, boys. I think I picked a real good one. Let's call in a meteor on the guy in the back, hit him with our new weapon as well. In fact, uh, let's swap fire modes and hit him with a taser. That way he's gonna be taking that ticking electrical damage on top of our poison and damage as well. It just completely eats right through his health bar. Mike, how are we looking? Oh, another rock troll to the right. Meteor down. Polymorph. <laughs> I do feel like a pretty powerful character when all this comes together, bro. That's really, really fun. More skeletons reinforcing the left side. We can push in here, no problem. Really looking forward to level six for some more reload speed. You've held off the assault. That's all you got, Dragon Lord. Watch it, Fate Maker. You haven't even <laughs> seen me try. Over here, Fate Maker. Huh? Yeah, coming over, Mike. Wait, where's over here? This way? Do I just follow the compass? Honestly, I didn't quite believe it. But you fight like something out of a legend. Oh, you are a fate maker. Oh, come on, we stopped their ground assault, but there's some undead that made it into the city. Into the city? Uh, better hurry if you're going to stop me and save the world. I can only drag my feet destroying Brighthoof for so long. Dude, uh, I, we got to stop him. Give me a moment, I'll get us in. Yeah, how much of a moment do you need? Oi! Lord Sky! Open up the gate! Yeah! Speak the password? Passwords open the bloody gate before I shove leaves down your throat, stick a handle on your ass, and turn you <laughs> into my own personal bloody teapot! Yeah! It's definitely him, guys! Open the gate! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> We've made it inside. You witness total carnage. Oh man. On fire. Scary men are eating people's feet. It's soups to fresh. Soups to fresh, bro. This is soups to fresh. Yeah, right? Come on. We have to clear the city. We'll make our stand in the main square. You got it. Yes, yes. Push on my armies of unyielding darkness. Once I take this city, the whole world will fall into my hands. Good AOE. I'm just going to move through to the center of town. I want you to hate me. I'm talking true loathing. Boy, we got some dragons coming in. Smoldering within, hollowing you out like a housewife. Just let me know if there's anything else I can do. Mentor figures I can kill. I'm all ears. Borderlands games are usually pretty good at letting the player kind of push through the chaos. You don't have to sit back there and kill every single enemy. Whoa, if you don't want to. Wait, did he blow up himself? Okay, we got to keep a good eye on these guys then. Poison damage, not super effective against them. That fire damage could be super effective against me. And just like that, we ran out of pistol ammo. Luckily for us, we still have plenty of SMG and axe bombs. Spell slots are ready. Yeah, thanks for the call out. Uh, the bridge Heaven's is still down. We're going to have to hold here for as long as we can. I'm going to try to make my way up to the high ground here. Use the top of these stairs for a bit of a vantage point against these guys. We are spreading good damage around to these. And even though they're not weak to the frost damage, that status effect slowing them down is helpful. Fell off the top. I just want to say that for the record. It was not my pl ah! We're okay. We're away from the explosion. It was not my plan to run up there and then immediately fall down. Just in case that wasn't totally obvious. I mean, if these guys are just going to turn into little bombs and fly down to me, then... I don't feel like I need to polymorph him. I feel like the problem is just going to take care of itself. You know what I mean? If they're going to blow themselves up, that saves me a few bullets. Maybe we should get a little further away from him, though. More reinforcements pushing in from the bridge. 
Let's make sure we call down our meteor on those enemies and continue to call down as many as we can. Wow, that's so effective on the badass. You can take the ambush, but you see that the drawbridge to the inner walls has been raised. You're stuck on this side. I have noticed that. I think it's obvious. We seduce the drawbridge. Oh, is that? Is that what we need to do? So, oh, we. If I'm here. Wait a minute, that is a heart. We are seducing the drawbridge. Hey, girl, uh, looking fine. Are those new counterweights? <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna make you roll for that. The drawbridge, it digs your flavor, baby. Your counterweights what? look so heavy. And just like that, we are in with more skeletons on this side of the bridge as well. Well, a meteor should take care of the shield guy, no problem. The archer won't last much longer. Come on! And the main square of the town is just ahead of us. Who brings me the queen's diamond head gets one of those novelty turkey drumsticks. Even if you can't eat it, they'll club a human like a fence post. I love turkey drumsticks. They're my weakness at theme parks. I, I, I used to always get one as a kid. Meteor down on the guy in the middle. This statue of Butt Stallion is looking beautiful. I'm glad they didn't deface it in any way. Maybe it's also made out of diamonds. Maybe they just couldn't deface it. More enemy reinforcements are spawning in, however. Our meteor is still on cooldown for three seconds, and our shields are depleted, so let's take cover. Good damage on that guy as he was moving up, though. I'm feeling so crazy powerful. What was that though? An explosive barrel! Shit, at a bad time! AoE called down, actually killing off the main badass there. Polymorph on this one actually didn't kill off the main badass, but they're close enough to be hit by the next meteor, too! As the last one, the skelly men clatters to the cobblestones. Realize you've done it! The undead horde has been defeated! New skin. For now, you think they're gonna come back? It feels so good to be a hero. I hope you remember this. I gave it a shot playing by the rules. Now I'm gonna have to start breaking them. Uh oh. What rules are you gonna break, though? That's against the rules. We found a prophecy. The Fate Maker wields great power in the face of evil. It feels like something lost long ago has been found again. It feels like. Home. Bloody brilliantly done. <sighs> Over here, Fate Maker. Where are you? Oh, this way. This hey, Mike. Coming, Andy. You saved us all, Fate Maker. You are the hero of Brighthill. Woo! That's me, all right. Bloody Dragon Lord business. There's no one here to be a hero for. <laughs> Our new fate maker in person. Uh, the castle gates are right over there. Yeah, I know exactly where we are. We defended Never them. Met a queen before. Queen Butt Stallion? Are you really gonna come meet me? The gates of Her Majesty's castle swing open as though they anticipated your arrival. And then you hear the clock of perfect hooves upon the cobblestones. They belong to the most goodest, majesticest ruler ever seen by mortal eyes. Queen Butt Stallion! Wow. Her magnificence. It just washes over you, man. Yes. <laughs> I feel it. It's fizzy. You spilled your soda. Yes, I did. And it was in honor of the queen. Okay, I'm approaching. What do I need to do here? Are you communicating with me, Butt yeah. Stallion? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll tell him. Yeah, okay. So, um, she says you are the bravest fate maker the one True. has seen in generations. Yeah. But though you have pushed back the Dragon Lord's attack, his downfall can only be brought about by one thing. You must go and retrieve the Sword of Souls. I was getting to that. Whoop. Yeah, it's a Sword of Souls. Although, thank you, Valentine, for paying attention to the exposition. The Sword of Souls is the coolest weapon in the whole game. Are we really getting that? 
I mean, if you complete the quest, yeah. I'll murder this whole quest and everyone in it. I will be so <laughs> but it's in the right spirit. Mostly. Where'd you lead me, Butt Stallion? Her Majesty says that the Sword of Souls is hidden in the Shatter Grave Barrow. She will be reaching there personally for you. Would you say we're being bestowed a huge honor? I've always wanted to be bestowed something. <laughs> Girl, you totally just got bestowed. My dream, it's happening. And that's gonna do it for today's episode, everyone. This is about as far as I made it in my time of the game. I did do one other side quest, but most of my time was me just jumping around the city, looking for more collectibles to find. And don't worry, this place does get fixed up. It ends up looking pretty good. But that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you again very soon with some more Tiny Tina's Wonderland.